people, welcome back to another video. While we have seen big growth after yesterday on HEMC stock, it's up so far by about 33.33%. It saw a lot of growth. Again, this could be a good thing, this could be a bad thing. We'll talk about that on tomorrow's video, but obviously that's not something for this episode. Tonight we're looking at some of the news, some of the fundamentals, and obviously basically picking out a little bit of information from the reply that Philip Morris made last night. So all of that is coming up in this video. Make sure to give this video a like and just subscribe if you may enjoy it. I'm sure you will because again, we do talk about HEMC pretty much every single day. Thank you guys for all the support so far. It does mean a lot. But again, let's keep that growth going and let's keep the channel moving. So let's just jump into this video quickly. Just quickly look at the share price and what we have seen over the past few months. So realistically guys, the share price hasn't moved too much both in the past 5 days and even in the past month. And when we look out to the past month we can see how significant yesterday's jump was. It was quite a big deal. Again this may be a good thing if it does stay up there. On Monday we definitely could see a bit of a sell off. You know perhaps people were just riding this one for the hype because a lot of people were getting excited about this one. So I wouldn't be too you know disappointed if it was to drop on Monday because 1 it would give us a better buy in opportunity potentially and 2 of course it would let us see where we do lie with this stock. So obviously I am not a financial advisor and I'm obviously not a lawyer and I do own about 1.1 million shares of HEMC but we're going to be looking at all of the information today but yes the stock definitely did take a very steep uh, incline on Friday. So it was up massively, it basically hit highs similar to where it was at the beginning of the month if not higher which is fantastic. Volume for Friday was pretty insane as well if we can get a volume figure 1.49 billion on Friday which wasn't as big as the day before surprisingly but actually we saw a bit of movement in the share price so 1.4 billion is still of interest which is good and obviously it is enough to move the share price up so let's talk about what is going on with this stock if you don't already know. I'm sure most of you guys do know this right now, so I'm going to quickly, quickly, quickly scheme and scam over it. So we can have a quick look. Obviously, one, HCMC is a small business. What they work in is obviously providing three different areas of service. They have eight vape stores across the United States. They have five, four, I believe it is, uh, basically supermarkets they are healthier choice markets they do call them they provide local organic and fresh food and all that kind of stuff they have intellectual property holdings which basically focus on uh, you know their well intellectual property such as patents and all that and all that sort of stuff and again that is what we are seeing in progress right now so again if you don't already know there is this ongoing lawsuit or at least it's about to be commencing or we're having some information on it right now and this is against a, a company called Philip Morris. Now Philip Morris is big in the smoking and vaping industry and they uh, will HEMC claim that their patent has been infringed upon by Philip Morris. Now the product has apparently got around 14 million users and has generated or at least been invested with over 3 billion dollars worth of revenue. So to, th to, so to sum things up shortly, obviously we can see a lot of money has been invested in this one and there's probably a lot of money coming out of it as well. They're being represented by Cozen O'Connor, which is one of the top law firms in the United States. They ranked around 68th, uh, 67th, I believe it was, uh, of top law firms last year in uh, the United States, which is good. So again, that's some important piece of information, but there we go. Now, one other piece of information which I do find interesting is that when we go over to Trading212, which is a popular trading site over in the, in the United Kingdom and also over in Europe, is that we can see their hot list down here. Now, the hot list basically represents how many shares of what company people are holding. Now, just a few days ago, Trading212 actually put uh, HEMC in number four place, but right now it is in number five place. But don't you think that is interesting? Obviously, HEMC, a small company, is in number five place. I find it really interesting that more people on uh, Trading212 are holding HEMC than Palantir, then Rolls Royce, then the S&P 500 fund from, Van from Vanguard, and also from the iShares Global Clean Energy Fund as well. So again, it's really interesting to see that. And actually, if you look a bit closer, so we can see HEMC only has a couple less uh, people who are holding it than Amazon. So literally, it is basically neck and neck between Amazon being in number four place and HEMC. They're going up and down constantly. But we can see over on Trading212, there's a lot of interest around HEMC. And I would assume that a lot of sites are the same. So it just shows that there is still this interest in the stock. So let's move over to what we have seen on Friday with the lawsuit.
So if we do have a quick look uh, over on the on Pacer Monitor and have an update of the lawsuit, we can see back on the 16th, we have had this uh, motion to dismiss for failure to state a claim be replied. So again, Philip Morris basically came back with some information, uh, you know, just further reiterating their argument and backing up what they have said previously. Now, I have basically skimmed over this one as well. I'm not going to bore you guys to death with it. There are lawyers who do talk about this on YouTube, so if you do want to see it in detail, make sure to give them a watch. Honestly, they talk some real sense and explain things in a real good way. But to sum things up, basically, what we have heard from yesterday is, in the most simplest of forms, HCMC is apparently using a old standard for patent lawsuits, and again, this is coming uh, from Philip Morris's reply. What they have said is that the gas is produced, uh, which definitely could be from combustion. This is basically inferring that combustion is there, and if these gases are there from other you know other forces and other terms then that inferred combustion would actually not be the case so i don't think that is adequate to stand up the second point that they have to make is that the fda paper uh, uses a term doesn't combust but it's very interesting to note that does the fda scientific review interpret how patents can be used so perhaps this was like a marketing license and not necessarily something around the sciences and how the patents and patent infringement actually works so again that is something to think upon as well if we look at one last point, we can also see that HMC doesn't apparently discuss what they think combustion actually is. So again, they don't really give much of a clear uh, description of what combustion is. And Philip Morris thinks that, that is a little bit vague to sum things up very simply. And again, uh, when we look at these lawsuits and whatnot, things, as we do know, are explained in very simple terms. What we can see is that simple words can actually be drawn out to mean a lot uh, over a long time. So, you know, we could be analysing the words combustion, analysing the words ignition and all that kind of stuff for a very, very long time. Now, apparently, Philip Morris are saying that combustion is ignition or burning. And again, the question is, are these the same thing? And ultimately, is it safe to group all of these things together? Is combustion necessarily burning? Is it necessarily ignition? Guys, I am not a lawyer. I am not a scientist. I am not qualified to, to talk about these things and, you know, talk about whether it is or is not the case. One thing that I can say is that all we need to do now, uh, from Philip Morris's standpoint on HCMC, is to actually prove that you know a uh, combustion does take place now this is further reiterated when we go over to julian sanders on twitter you may or may not have heard of him uh, he apparently started the hcmc army hashtag but we can see down here his tweets from just a few hours ago uh talk about a few interesting things actually if we do have a quick read down here we can see good morning hcmc army no way the judge approves this motion to dismiss this goes to discovery hcmc just have to prove co uh, partial combustion so again that is quite true I, from what i can make out again i am not a lawyer so you know i'm not 100 guaranteed that is the case but from what i can make out if hcmc can actually prove that some combustion does take place uh, this motion will probably not be dismissed as philip morris are hoping now philip morris on the other hand they have to prove that zero combustion does take place as 100 percent of the time so again we have a small amount that hcmc can you know do and philip morris have to bring a hundred percent to the table in regards to what we have seen so that is really interesting you can see i think that you know what things are really still in hcmc's favor if we read a bit further we can see we all know that pyrolysis i believe that it said is a first stage of combustion and has been found even by the fda so that is interesting as well are we going to see this case get settled are we going to see it go ahead or are we going to see it get dismissed personally i do think it is going to go ahead again we are still waiting on what the judge mr timothy batten i do believe it is to see what he comes back and says about the case whether he wants it to go ahead or whether he wants it to go dismissed now as a shareholder of hcmc personally i do hope that the judge denies philip morris's you know motion to dismiss and they actually do go ahead with the case now if the case does get brought ahead you know if they do go ahead with the case ultimately in my opinion at least hcmc are basically uh, in a very strong position because from that from that time we're either going to get a ruling on this case which could take a long time it could take months to years as we have discussed before and again it could win for them they could get a big payout or 
it would be in both parties' interest, in my opinion, if this uh, motion was to get denied, that they were to work on a settlement. Now, we have spoken about settlement potential many a time before. I'm sure we'll speak about it again in the next week with all this hype and hotness around the stock. But ultimately, a settlement could bring a few billion dollars for HMC. Let's face it, guys, this company is relatively small. If they were to win a payout of $100 million, $200 million, $500 million, and that is a very, very conservative estimate, but let's say they were to win $100 million, that will still be a really large amount of money for a company like this, and that is what we need to remember. Chances are we could be winning up to a billion, if not more dollars, and again, that could bring a lot for HMC. But at the moment, guys, it isn't sh well, we're not sure whether this one is going to get dismissed or whether we are actually going to go ahead with the case. We'll have to wait to see what the judge does say. Again, if the case does go ahead, we could be looking at big things. I think if the case does start to go ahead, if we get this motion to dismiss be denied, we're going to be seeing a lot of hype around the stock, which could ultimately bring the price up, hopefully past the point of 0 0002 now, one thing which I talked about last night in our video, I said is that basically with the hype that we have seen on Friday around HAMC, let's face it, nothing has really happened. We had Philip Morris filing this reply, but it wasn't really a main catalyst for the stock. It wasn't a big deal. And people were asking me to take that video down, thinking that I was wrong. Let's face it, guys, in the process of the lawsuit, we haven't seen a payout. We haven't seen a ruling in HAMC's favor. We have just seen Philip Morris file their reply, and the judge hasn't even voted upon this yet. Now, people are going to criticize me now saying that I'm bashing HMC. What I'm trying to say, guys, is that we've had a minor piece of news last night. So let's think about it, guys. If this one was to win, if they were to win this lawsuit, can you just imagine the amount of hype that would come into this stock and how high it could go? If it's rocketed by 33% on some very, very minor news, can you imagine how much it would be up on some major news of perhaps a settlement or a ruling of HMC's favor? So that is why I think that we do need to be long and you know patient with HMC in my personal opinion. People have asked me what I'm doing with HMC. Guys, I do have about 1.1 million shares. If the price comes back down, I would be looking to buy more. I, ho I actually had an order in for 500,000 shares just the other day. It didn't go through. This was on trading 2 on 2. A lot of you guys have advised me on things that I could do for that. It still hasn't worked, but there we go. But obviously when the price rocketed up, I actually took that order off because I didn't want to pay the premium for it, thinking that it may have potential to drop a bit next week again nobody knows for sure and if it continues to rock it as i hope it does that's fine by me i still have my 1.1 million shares i'd be more than happy to take profit off that because for me that is enough but again i still would be looking to add to hmc but i do see the potential of this one dropping just a little bit further and if that was the case i think we could definitely see an opportunity to buy the dip that's just my personal thoughts so guys tell me yours down below thank you for watching all the way through to the end i will see you all again tomorrow given my four forecast for HEMC into the next week. See you all very soon. Goodbye.